Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about typing self, which is a brand new pep that was just accepted for, well, just accepted. It was a few months ago now. Uh, for Python 3.11, uh, I wanted to show you why you would need something like this, how you can emulate it without Python 3.11, uh, and what you'll be able to do in the future when MyPy actually supports it, because it currently doesn't. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so let me show the problem that we're trying to solve today. Uh, we're gonna make a small Python file here. Uh, we're gonna have a little class and let's just give it, I don't know, some initialization, none self.x equals x. And we're gonna add a factory method. We're actually gonna add two different factory methods. One of these is gonna be a clone method and the other of these is going to be a make method. And both of these are kind of useful, uh, or both of these are problematic and the pep is useful for both of those. So let's make a clone first. And uh, if I was naively typing this, let's just do from future word annotations. If I was naively typing this, I would say that this returns C. Of course, it's the same type as this. Uh, and I don't know, copy dot deep copy self, sure. Actually, we'd probably, I don't know, uh, instance equals type uh, self and then self.x, we can probably just do this. So we don't have to involve special copy model here. Okay, so that might be how we implement a clone method. And let's say we also implement a make method. Uh, let's say this takes a y, which is an int, and returns a c, and maybe this calls uh, class, I don't know, y, y squared. <laughs> it's a silly example. Uh, anyway, we have this class now, and if we make a virtual env and install mypy, if install mypy, and we call reveal type on c dot make two, uh, and reveal type on c two dot clone, these should both give us t dot c when we ask mypy what they are. Uh, c is not callable. You mean C is not callable. Line 12. But we have init right here. <laughs> Why not? Uh, what have I messed up here? Missing positional argument Y to call of make. Oh, I forgot class method. Okay, <laughs> silly me. Okay, here we go. So you can see MyPy is completely happy with this. It knows that both of these return a C. Everything is fine and dandy until you introduce inheritance. And then it's kind of difficult to represent these two methods properly. So if we take the same thing as what we had before, re reveal type d.make2, there should be a d object of, uh, because you know it is a special subclass. If we call d2.clone, uh, we'll see that we get the wrong types here. And that's because these annotations explicitly list c and they don't quite work out. Now, there is a workaround for the current version of Python, and this works in all versions that have uh, type variable support, and that is to make a type var, a generic, from typing import type var. And this is the old way that the pep is intending to replace. And you can make a special self type variable. I'm calling it c self here because it's... Uh, has to have this special bound equals c to it saying that this type variable must be a subclass of this particular type here and then in the cases where we have c and self or c and class we need to replace them with our specials uh you know self type here so we do c self and c self and down here we have to use type c self now usually you don't annotate self and class but this is the one the one time where you need something more specific than that, and that's when you're using this type variable. And so that'll make these two methods generic on the class itself, and MyPy will be able to figure out that these are Ds and these are Cs. So if we run this now, you'll see we have t.c and t.d, and the star just means that it was inferred, and that's because it had to do type variable uh, resolution. Okay, that's the solution to the problem. Uh, but this is kind of clunky. It's really hard to remember. You have to make this weird type variable. You have to make a type variable for every single class that you might do this for. And it's just kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, and so that's where PEP673 comes into play. And this is this introduce is a type called self, uh, which is usable in the same context where you would use this special cself type variable. 
Um, and yeah, they go over some other examples similar to what I've shown here. They also show the same uh, equivalent, you know, type variable that I set up here uh, and, you know, go through all of the other stuff like that. And so what you can do in Python 3.11, when MyPy supports it, it doesn't support it yet at the time of recording this video. So unfortunately, uh, this isn't going to work. Uh, but you can use from typing import self, and this is if you are Python 3.11 plus. Um, if you're not Python 3.11 plus, you can do something like this. If sys dot, well, of course need sys, sys dot version info is greater than or equal to 3.11, then you can do this. Otherwise, you can import it from typing extensions, which usually backports the new typing features. Uh, of course, <laughs> this needs MyPy support, <laughs> and MyPy currently does not support this, so unfortunately this doesn't work, uh, and so then you can use this fallback if you don't need that. Uh, but the code will look basically the same as what we did with cself, except you'll just use self. And MyPy has special code, and MyPy and other type checkers have special code to substitute this as the proper type variable for this particular class. And so, uh, you know, this will resolve all the same. Actually, I bet if we use, uh, is that how you spell it? I think it's probably right. We install the uh, Microsoft type checker. Uh, it's not pyrite, it's the other one. <laughs> one of these two is right. <laughs> I just installed a random package, that's not good. Uh, right, uh, t.py, I think. Uh, yeah, so uh, PyRite understands the self uh, name already. MyPy is a little bit behind, which is kind of normal. Uh, but anyway, that's that's it. That's a very, very simple, helpful addition. This is kind of the fallback if you don't have access to self or typing extensions um, and you know shows you how to solve a particular problem there. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.